today we're going to create a structure made out of hexagons just like a beehive and can be used for a lot of things but uh, I think we can use it for a nice table decoration so let's go ahead and create a disk oh by the way this tutorial is going to use the MoGraph module you can achieve everything here with the standard modules just using functions duplicate and arrays if you know how to use them you can follow along or if you have MoGraph that's better still so with our disk selected let's create a hexagon so reduce the rotation segment to 6 and the 6 the disk segment to 1 and I think I'm going to make it smaller about 25 meters and just change its orientation so I'll go ahead and make it editable and select everything I mean all the polygons and I want to make it hollow here on the middle but still have a border here that will mark the hexagon shape so when we apply a hypernerve subject it won't get rounded up so um, just hit I on the keyboard that would give us the extrude inner tool just click and drag click and drag here we have our border now we can create some more subdivisions okay now what I'm going to do is just take the move tool and go to polygon mode and here on the soft selection tab just enable it change the fall off to dome and reduce this let's see to about 20 meters let's see how this works so as you can see soft selection not only moves the selected polygons but also the adjacent polygons um, but I think about 23 could work better, no, 21 and this works for the purposes of this tutorial now I'm going to take well just go to the edge selection go to selection loop and I'm going to select the second loop I made go to the move tool and now just deactivate soft selection and give it a little extrusion here okay so this will be our basic building block for all the structure we can of course modify it along the way okay so now we'll we're going to create a cloner object make the disk a child of the cloner now we have three copies um, let's go to the object tab and change the mode from linear to radial and just play, change the plane from XY to XZ okay and I'm going to rotate the object what happens with this is that if you try to rotate it, it won't work because the cloner object has this option that's called fixed clone so if I deactivate it now I can rotate it 90 degrees okay so let's go to the object properties of the cloner and increase the count to about 10 and then just increase the radius just that these are close enough to touch each other so maybe 66.5 maybe 66.8 okay so what we have here is a series of hexagons but they're not connected to each other so if we were to apply let's say a hypernox object this is what would happen and this is not what we want we want to preserve that hexagon shape and we want every object to be connected to each other 
Oh, let me just delete this. And I'll create a connect object. And what this will do is connect all the objects while preserving um, all their settings so we can modify the cloner object and the disk without problems. So let's make the cloner a child of the connect object. And what's happening here is that let's go to the connect object. If we go to the object properties, we have a tolerance of 0.1 meters. So what this is going to do is evaluate the distance between the points. And I guess this is more than 0.1 meters. So let's increase the tolerance to 0.5. Okay. So as you can see, now they're all connected and we can still modify the properties of the cloner. So, if we make this child of a hypernerves, now they're connected between each other. They still get rounded up, but we can fix that later. Okay. We will now take or create another cloner object and set the connect object as child of the cloner and let's go to the second cloner object properties and we do want to clone them linearly but in this case they need to have some rotation let me go to a side view okay some rotation maybe 20 degrees no, 18 degrees and let's also reduce the y distance okay so now we more or less have a pretty good distance between the points that we need to connect Let's just fix the count. Well, nine, maybe more. Twelve of these. Okay. So now we have to create another connect object. Set this cloner as a child of the connect object. And, well, before we do that, let me just deactivate this one. We can fix the distance between these two points so let's deactivate all the cloners and go to our original object go to point mode and I'll select these three and by holding shift I'll select these other three Oops. okay so now activating everything again let's see how this works Oops. okay so this helps because now the distance is significantly reduced and we won't have problems with the tolerance of the connect object and on the cloner object I think we can still optimize these, let me see, 37, 37.5, 37.6, I think this is almost exact, and let's just hit connect object and pump the tolerance to 0.5, okay, so now we have a hexagon structure connected, and we can still modify all the parameters can add more if we want. Let's see what happens if we get it into a hypernerve subject. So we're still getting these rounded shapes which we don't want. So 